What's up guys, I'm Ryan, this is RC Tech TV, and today we're checking out the Venom Pro Checker. This is a all-in-one LiPo battery checker, discharger, and balancer. Um, this is just gonna be a simple unboxing um, and small review of this um, item. This is a uh, two to six S capable um, unit. Uh, the part number is 0699 and we will take a look at it. So when I first got this unit, I wasn't uh, sure how often <clears throat> I would actually use it. Um, and after time would tell, um, I actually went and got a couple more um, because I actually found it to be so useful. Um, primarily when I use this is at the end of the race day or the race weekend, um, when I'm packing up and getting ready to go. Um, and so typically uh, we would just, you know, kind of pack up and leave. Um, and it really, it doesn't make sense to come home and set up your charger and then go through each one of your batteries and discharge them down to a safe storage area. Um, <clears throat> and you will see longer longevity out of your batteries if you store them. <clears throat> uh, this would be for any time more than I would say um, three or four days. Um, and so this is just something I do to keep my batteries in optimum condition um, and peak performance. Um, and so we will take a look at the unit itself here. So it's a nice plastic injection molded piece um, with your uh, 2S to 6S um, serial ports. Um, again, you have the QC Pass sticker from the factory ensuring it works before it left. And you also have the ability to do JST um, and receiver and transmitter batteries. Um, now quickly on the receiver and transmitter batteries, this unit will accept um, both lithium polymer um, and uh, nickel metal hydride. Um, so if you do have one of those kind of batteries, um, this charger will uh, determine your voltage or check your voltage for you and let you know. Um, and so um, in the box here, you'll also get <clears throat> your manual. Um, I would recommend you take a quick look at it just to you understand um, the features and processes. I'm just going to show you guys the basic functions. I'm not necessarily going to do a walkthrough tutorial with this specific unit. Um, but um, I will do my best to give you an informative review here. Um, so this is the Venom 4500-100C uh, Shorty Pack. This is my go-to battery um, in the winter time uh, when I do all my carpet racing. So. When you buy this battery, you will get a pack, or excuse me, a <clears throat> lead that looks something similar to this. Um, and you're going to want to take those connectors and plug them in. Of course, black will go to negative, blue will go to your balance, and red will go to positive. Um, and so in this configuration here, you're all ready to use your uh, LiPo checker. Um, <clears throat> and so to do so, um, you'll determine your cell count on your battery. This one just happens to be a two cell. And so you find the correlating um, balancing port for it. And so you plug it in. And we can take a look. So we are going to zoom in here real quick, guys, and get you a close-up view of kind of how I run through this. And we will go from there. All right, so now that we got our battery plugged in here, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the screen. Um, you'll see once it's plugged in, um, it will automatically turn on. Um, and it will show the individual voltages um, of each of the cells. Um, and down here at the bottom, it will give you your total voltage power um, of your pack. Um, up here, it just kind of shows a three bar uh, indicator, kind of where your battery level is sitting for that particular cell. Um, and so uh, a couple things I want to take a quick look at with you guys first. Uh, go ahead and select the mode button. Um, and so as soon as you do that, it will pop up in the bottom right and say balance voltage limit. And so this is the function for when you're balancing your battery, what the minimum voltage is you want on each of those cells should it need to take it to that level to balance it. So for example, if you had a cell at, um, let's say 4.2 volts, um, and then you had a cell at, uh, was going bad possibly, and it had been over discharged compared to the other, um, and you saw something like two volts, it would only bring that secondary power from 4.2 down to this minimum voltage so you didn't damage your first cell while you're trying to repair your second one. So this is not only a tool that I can utilize for um, just simple functions, there's also rhyme and reason to having it 
um, in that specific capacity. So make sure you set it um, at around 3.2 volts, um, maybe even 3.3 depending on how safe you want to be. That's where I set mine. Second part of this will be the discharge voltage setting, and that is the, basically the same thing, um, but in the discharge function. So like I said, this is a uh, balancer discharge um, unit, and so it will do both of those tasks, but you have to make sure that you're doing it safely. Um, and so you're gonna wanna set this at 3.2 volts, and that's the minimum cell voltage that'll bring this pack down to per cell. So that would be 3.2 at two cells, so that would be 6.4 total volts for that pack and that is a very safe storage uh, capacity for this batteries. And so once we've done that, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and take a look, verify everything's still in order. And this pack does seem to be very well balanced. Um, so we will do um, a discharge function and go ahead and press and hold the discharge button. And hold it for about three and a half, four seconds. All right. And so once you release that, you will see an indicator over on the right that is now entering discharge mode. And it also appears up here that uh, each cell is being um, discharged as well. And what that's displaying there is, in the old school days, we actually used to hook up um, little incandescent light bulbs in a series um, and plug the, the nickel metal hydride batteries into them so you'd get a full drain. Um, but this is an intelligent unit that knows that it's lithium polymer and to only discharge it to that 3.2 volts we saw. So here it would only um, decrease this uh, battery by uh, 0.5 um, volts per cell. Mm -hmm. All right, and so we will cancel that function. And anytime you're in a function, all you have to do is come back over here to cancel um, and it will back you out of that setting. And so if we wanna balance these, we will click balance, hold for three seconds and release. And now you'll see an indicator that we are in balance mode. And so again, balance mode doesn't necessarily mean that it'll bring the voltage of one cell uh, down and bring the other one up with that same amount of voltage. This just simply brings them uh, both down to one level playing field. Um, and then once it feels that it has um, particularly um, brought that cell voltage to a balanced point, um, it will go ahead and do an automatic shutoff. So again, we'll, clamp, we'll hit the cancel button and uh, that is pretty much the s functions of this. It was designed to be very simple, very easy to use. Um, and so we'll back out here, take a quick final look, and uh, we'll do a little more talking. All right, so now that we've taken a quick view um, as the screen layout and the buttons and everything works on here, um, I just wanna make a couple quick notes here before we end this video. Um, one is um, just for safety when you guys do your discharging or balancing make sure you set this guy on a non-flammable surface something nice and hard um, during that discharge process um, it does create a little bit of heat um, and so you're going to want to make sure you kind of stay safe with that it's not an overwhelming amount of heat um, but it is enough to to arise a little bit of safety concern with your um, you know your house <laughs> and uh, the second thing I want to mention is just um, battery maintenance um, I think it's very oftenly overlooked um, but the these batteries, um, you're going to want to check them um, every every so often. Um, I don't recommend necessarily um, discharging and balancing at every single charge, um, but make sure you are doing that um, on a very regular basis. If not, you know, every couple of charges, every other charge. Um, and so these are these are pretty well um, able to balance themselves out there. Um, but just note that you want to take the best care of your batteries. Um, you're going to get the most performance out of them, retain the most milliamps, um, and keep your internal resistances very low. Um, I'm not going to go into detail right now about uh, battery chemistry, but um, essentially uh, you want the best performing battery, and it's just important. We spend a good chunk of change on these, so it's, you know, it's important that we um, maintain our investments um, and keep the best battery life and performance possible. So. Um, I'm not going to go too far into that, but I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. Um, and if you want to check out one of these units here, um, again, it's part number 0699. It is the Venom Pro LiPo Checker. Make sure to check it out um, and go from there. The link is in the description. Um, so I'll make sure to send you guys right over to VenomPowered.com and they will get you hooked up. Take care and see you next time.